What's up guys, welcome back to Dan Reviews, and today we're going to be doing our weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 7, episode 10 we saw this week, which is called New Best Friends. Now, if you didn't see the video I uploaded a couple days ago, I couldn't do a video all weekend long, and also on Friday, I was just really busy with some stuff, and uh, you know, some personal stuff, and uh, also doing uh, just a lot of stuff for the channel, and I had to take a couple days off for some uh, certain things uh, personally. So, uh, we're back, we're back, yeah, and uh, I did get to see the episode last night. Wow, yeah, I, I'll say this, wow, what a great, great episode of The Walking Dead this week. We're here to review it. Let's get into it. Spoiler warning, if you have not seen this episode yet of The Walking Dead, let's get into this. So, uh, today, uh, yeah, I decided to put my Negan poster here, and, uh, just for the video, uh, mainly for my predictions video, because uh, it's a Negan-centric episode next week, so I wanted to put that there. Alright, so uh, this episode, this episode was really good. I mean, I, I would say uh, this one and the mid-season premiere are probably just as good. I, I can't really pick one that's better than another. Uh, I, I just kind of can't. I mean... It's just difficult, really, for me to uh, say which one's better, because you have the Walker sequence in Episode 9, and then, but this one, you have, like, the Junkyard group, and you have Carol and Daryl reuniting, which was just awesome. I really loved the episode, and especially the, the new group, the Junkyard group, are really, really cool. I, I really like the group a lot. They're really uh, kind of, they're neat characters, like they're different characters in, in a good way that we haven't seen uh, before. And this is a really great episode for the series, and it really drives the story, I think. Uh, but, of course, we haven't even seen Negan since the mid-season finale, so we got to see him next week. So we'll uh, talk more about that in the predictions video. Now, for this one, for this episode... I'm going to go ahead and say I think this one was... I, I can't pick one that's better. The mid-season premiere or this one. Uh, they're just as good, to be honest. Um, I want to say I, I'd go with the mid-season premiere. Just for the fact that we saw that cool walker sequence. And the ending was pretty cool. But then this one. You had Rick fighting off this this huge zombie with th these poles and metal all over him. Uh, you know, a garbage pale zombie, so to speak, right? So, uh, that was awesome. I love that zombie. And I saw it from the, we all saw it from the preview months ago, and everybody thought, like, I saw comments in the, in that video description of people saying, oh man, that zombie's so cool, and I, I can't wait to see that. Uh, I can't wait to see Rick f uh, f fight uh, the, uh, the zombie that was behind him. But, uh, to be honest with you, it's really cool, and it reminds me of a certain zombie uh, from the comic book series, the pincushion zombie with, like, zombies, uh, you know, the, the it's one of those type of zombies with, like, uh, like, uh, like, weapons all through him, like, really, really cool. This one kind of reminded me of that one, because there's, like, poles in them, and, like, metal all over them, and, oh, it was so cool, and the metal kind of reminded me of the one where Eugene and Abraham went to that shop, and there was, like, metal all over the zombie, and Eugene was all over the zombie's face, and Eugene was trying to kill the zombie, but he couldn't, so that was cool, but anyway, let's start from the beginning, so uh, we have the beginning of the episode, which is really cool, we have Morgan and Daryl, they're kind of talking, uh, you know, and uh, you also have, of course, the drop-off, uh, from the people from the kingdom, uh, which, uh, you know, it kind of goes, at first it's okay, you know, they, they give them the stuff, but then uh, the guy with the long hair again is trying to uh, kind of get on Richard's nerves as he did the last time, and they both kind of, you know, he says, I don't think this guy should have a gun, ever, I don't want him to have a gun, and so they both raise their guns at each other, and then, you know, I, I got so mad at this part because then, of course, the savior, that main savior, took the Morgan staff. And I was like, oh, man, why do you do that? So, oh, uh, yeah, I'm not happy about that at all. I'm, I'm really, really not. Um, I'm not a fan of that part. Uh, but uh, I'm sorry about the sun. It keeps shining in. Anyway, so then we end up seeing that, of course, Daryl has a new crossbow now. Uh, they're starting to kind of learn how to uh, fight with, like, uh, crossbows, bone arrows, uh, instead of guns, because, uh, the saviors are starting to take some guns, and, uh, they need to learn how to fight with some other weapons that, uh, are not, you know, uh, firearms. So, 
it's really, really cool to see them uh, practicing. Gar uh, Daryl gets the crossbow, and then we get the intro. So the in that was a good intro, I think. Uh, it's a really great intro. And then we saw, of course, uh, in the return, Daryl uh, and Richard go out there. And basically, Richard is trying to, uh, you know, fight just like Daryl, fight the saviors. And they're both out there trying to, uh, you know find uh you know something i don't know what they're doing out there and then uh basically we see that richard is trying to use uh carol for bait but he doesn't tell daryl her name and he just keeps saying that we're gonna kill her and all this stuff and he doesn't say her name and i got annoyed too because he just wouldn't shut up and he wouldn't say her name and i would have done the same thing as daryl he keeps talking he keeps rambling and he keeps like he just doesn't say her name and i'm just like come on dude say her name like everybody kind of knew when you were watching the episode that he was talking about her but you know say her name man like seriously um and then he eventually says carol and uh you know daryl of course gets mad at that part and uh he said uh well richard says i i, I didn't think he'd care and daryl beats him up so <laughs> that was cool uh i didn't expect because that scene was in the the promo and i didn't expect it to be somebody from the kingdom i really didn't i thought it might have been like maybe some random savior they found or some other stranger maybe from the junkyard group i didn't think it would have been uh richard that that didn't go through my mind uh, so that was uh, pretty insane and uh, he says if you do anything to her i'll kill you uh so pretty crazy uh so then we see the people at the junkyard and uh, rick's trying to convince her to fight against the saviors and this was crazy because the group, the I would say um, the amount of people they have at the Junker group, I have no idea, but it at least looks to be about maybe about 50 to about 80, somewhere around there. I'm not really sure the exact number there, but I'm pretty sure that's the amount, yeah. And then we do end up seeing that, of course, uh, and, and also, unfortunately, she says no, and when she says no, uh, she gets her guys to try to kill them, and, uh, of course, uh, Rick's group, and this is crazy, against, like, 50 to, like, maybe even 100, uh, people, Rick and them are actually able to fight, and actually start, you know, killing them, and they get through them, and so they're, they're pushing them down and everything, and I'm like, that, I just look at them, and they're just, like, fighting through all these people, they're, like, five, and these people have, like, 70, 80, maybe, people, and Rick's group are still, like, not shot or killed somehow, and they're still fighting off these people, and they're, like, so outnumbered, but they're still able to take them down. I thought that was just amazing. That was an amazing part uh, for me. When she says no, and then they just start fending them off once they kind of start going for Rick's group. Uh, you know, Rick, Tara, Rosita, and them. And by the way, Rosita, I am hating her attitude lately, man. I am really starting to hate her attitude. She's really becoming a... A little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a snitch. Uh, so I don't like her. I, I, I really don't. She's, uh, she, yeah, I'm not liking her right now. Uh, she's, a, she, I like her character, but lately she's been kind of getting me a little mad, and I'm not liking the way her character's going, you know. So uh, we have that, and then of course we also have uh, some other. Uh, oh my God, the sunlight. Uh, we all, yeah, we have that, and then we also have a couple other things going on here, where, uh, and this is awesome, because then she, uh, she does say yes, because, uh, they, and honestly, I was, like, thinking to myself, why doesn't Rick just tell her that they killed, like, four of their people, like, and captured two of them, and one of them got out, you know, like, just tell her the basic story, at least, no details, no nothing, but just tell them that they've lost tons of people because of these people, they might have said yes straight away, but nope. So, then uh, she says, take Rick up, up, up. And I'm like, I don't know what she's talking about. But then we uh, see that Rick is, like, on top of the, all the junk. And you can see Rick looking out, and it's just a huge junkyard. Um, and uh, honestly, though, you can tell, though, that that's a green screen. And I, I'm not a fan of that, but, I mean, it looks it looked okay. Uh, then we end up seeing that, of course, she pushes Rick off, and she says, let's see if you're worth it. So I'm guessing what she did is, I do understand what she did. 
I think what she did, well, I'm not happy she pushed off Rick, but uh, I think what she did was she tried to push him off, and she did because Rick, you don't know if he's a kind of person that, you know, you just met the guy. He could be like Negan where he might act like he's okay, um, or, you know, maybe like Gareth, and perfect example, people at Terminus, you know, the people at Terminus, they acted like they were, like, perfect, uh, and they were all, you know, you know, like, here, do you wanna, you know, you want some people meet, really, you know, you like, you want some meat on the grill or whatever, and they were acting like, oh, this is a new home, Terminus, and the next thing, you know, they're trapped in a train cart, you don't know if Rick's group can, you know, you don't know if, uh, you know, Rick seems to trust them, but it seems like she doesn't trust them, because she thinks, oh, maybe Rick will turn around and kill one of my people, you know, uh, so, it's interesting, so she pushes him off to see if he can fight walkers, which, again, is very smart, but why would you give Rick the hardest walker to take out, you know, and, uh, but I guess she wants to see his strength, and Michonne, she's like, you know, take it, or whatever, I'm like, take what, and then Rick just takes some of the garbage, and pushes it on the zombie, and then, of course, finishes it off, but that zombie man, if they don't make an action figure of him for the display, I am going to be so mad. I don't care what inch it is. They should make a 10-inch figure, like one of those 10-inch figures of that zombie. I would so buy that thing. I would definitely get that for the display because that is a cool zombie. That's one of the coolest zombies they've had up to date. It's almost beating out the bicycle girl. That, that, was, that was really cool. Uh, but the bicycle girl is so iconic from season one. So, then we, uh, we see that, of course, they're gonna make a deal, and, uh, you know, Rick says, uh, you know, uh, a third, you know, and she's like, a, a half, you know, and then, uh, Rick's like, a third, and she's like, you know, a half, you know, if you give us a third, we take, we, we keep what we took, which means Gabriel, Rick's Python, uh, Carl's gun, and a couple other, uh, you know, things they had, of course, Gabriel's weapons, and everything like that, and everything they basically had, aside from, like, their clothes, and everything else, so, yeah, that, that was, uh, you know, I honestly thought they might have not made a deal, because she was, like, saying half, Rick saying a third, and then they make an agreement. And I like when Rick goes to shake her hand with the bloody hand she, she resists, and then they just grab the other hand. So, um, yeah, and I'm also liking, and this was cool at the end, how it seems like Tara's going to be forced to tell Rick's group, most likely, about the ocean side. I'm not sure when they're going to bring it in. Um, I'm probably going to say it's probably not going to be episode 12. I feel like episode 12... We'll probably, because uh, episode 11, Saviors, all that stuff. So we're not going to see our group next week. But we're t like we're going to see them, uh, obviously, probably in episode 12. So that one's probably going to be about getting guns. Now, that one she could tell them, and then maybe in episode 13 or 14 they get to the uh, the ocean side. Because I feel like it's it's still kind of early to, uh, to bring them back in, but you never know. So... I'm really interested to see how that goes. And then we, of course, see Carol and Daryl, which, uh, you know, reunite and everything, which was amazing. And I don't understand why he didn't tell her, um, about, you know, the, the whole, uh, you know, thing with, uh, Abraham and Glenn and everything like that. Because if, if he told her, she would have fight. She would have fought, you know, the saviors. And I, I just, she would have, she would have agreed. And I don't understand why he didn't. But I guess he wants to kind of keep her calm, relaxed, so she doesn't, you know, start stressing about it or anything like that. She's, you know, Carol's been through a lot. They all have. But she's, she's probably one of the characters that have been through the most. Like, she's lost, like, everything. Her daughter and everything. Well, we could go over tons. I might even do a character spotlight on her. I'm, uh, I don't think I've ever done one. So, yeah. Maybe that this week. And, um, you know, uh, I also liked seeing, of course, uh, you know, Daryl, uh, you know, kind of, the tiger kind of likes Daryl. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, this was a great episode. I really love this one, and I can't wait to see the Saviors next week. But I'm really excited for episode 12 to see uh, how they're going to get the, the half of the gun. Because they don't have barely any guns right now. So I can't wait to see that. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the episode. I'll see you guys really soon. Peace.